Hey guys, it's Pan here with another episode of Show Don't Tell, uh, the YouTube channel that teaches you a bit more about how to create videos and films. So uh, today we're going to be talking about lighting uh, and more importantly, we're going to be talking about uh, one point lighting and two point lighting. Um, and then down the line, I'll, I'll bring a three point lighting tutorial up, but best to start with uh, this tutorial first, learn all about that and then you can get onto the harder stuff later. Okay, so I have Lydia here, which is a friend of mine and assistant. She helps out with the our video work uh, and she kindly uh, became our subject today for how we're going to light this. So as you can see, that's sort of the, the two point lighting that I'm going to be teaching you today. And also there's going to be one point lighting. So if I do switch off the uh, lights here, so if I switch off the back one, there, there you go. See already that's looking a bit different. If I switch off this one, there you go. We, we are pretty much, we've blacked out the room. So you are learning how to pretty much light up a scene from scratch. Uh, so that's the one point lighting there. So let's begin with that. Now that in itself looks uh, pretty okay. As you can see, there's enough light uh, going onto Lydia here and it looks quite three-dimensional in some ways because you the left side of her as you can see is darker and then sort of from a, a third in it starts to get a lot more uh, brighter leading onto the right side of her face which is most bright now when you set up the lights like this i think things look more three-dimensional you can have the light coming from straight on but the way we've set this up is that the light is sort of 45 degrees to lydia's left and it's higher up so it's pointing straight down at her and it's lighting her like that. And then uh, that's sort of one point lighting. So there you go. I switch on the secondary light or you might want to call it a kicker. And uh, that sort of looks a bit more three dimensional, I think, as well, because you have a harsher secondary light coming in from the side, creating a bit of a, a sort of a, a rim around this area. Um, and then you have the, the key light, which is kind of coming in from up, up there, sort of top left of uh, Lydia. So if we have a look here, uh, our main light, as I said, uh, is the Aperture 300D. Uh, and it's kind of set up like that. So it's sort of 45 degrees uh, to Lydia's left and it's higher up so pointing downwards now why would you point a light downwards it's so that you don't see any shadows created behind her so the shadows are all falling more on the floor right now than they are on her uh, sorry behind her um, so that's that and then the secondary light is created by this very cool uh, tube light here uh, both of these items you can see in the description. I mean, the Aperture 3, uh, 300D is quite a popular one. Uh, so there you go. I can switch that on and off and you can see. And it's much harsher how it hits Lydia and it creates that. And as you can see, if I turn it off again, that's the difference that it makes. What I've, uh, what I've done here, guys, is I've taken off the diffusion so it's pretty much the harsh light now coming through the aperture. So as you can see, it's it's a bit harsher. We, you know, it's still spreading out quite well, to be honest, because of the um, reflective surface that is around it. But we do want it diffused so that it doesn't create harsh highlights, uh, like a bit on the forehead there, on the nose, um, on the cheeks. It's a bit too much highlight there, I would say. Uh, so we want all that to blend in and look more equal so there you go it's back on now and as you can see those highlights have kind of come down and they are a bit more even so that is cool so this secondary light uh, you can call it a secondary light or you can call it a kicker so what's important about the kicker is that it's a bit harsher perhaps than the um the main light it's not diffused as much um so that it creates an, a quite a nice harsh um, sort of light around the other side of the person's face 
or their body, maybe make it go green, you can now see what that is adding. And if I maybe bring it, turn it a bit away from her face, then you can see that even more correctly. So that's sort of the areas that you want to hit with the rim light. Um, you can even have tungsten light, you know, whatever. Just have it coming either from the side or from the back side. So 45 degrees behind her maybe. So from there, coming in like that, if it's too much to the side or to the front, then you then start having sort of half and half the face. Obviously this green light looks terrible, but the whole point of it is that you see where that kicker, what that kicker light is doing, uh, what it's given us. Well, that's it from me today, guys. I truly hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the uh, next one. If you are interested uh, to have a look at some more videos, then I have linked this one to another one so you can continue learning straight away.